Right, so now we are coming to a very useful application of the clamper circuit. We are coming to a very useful application of the clamper circuit, and this is called the this is called the voltage doubler. The voltage doubler will convert AC into DC plus it will double the AC value. The DC output voltage will be two times the AC value. So first let us look at the circuit. The first component that we see is a transformer of the voltage doubler. The voltage doubler first component is the transformer. The transformer is transforming AC signals. Either it can step up or it can step down. Then we see capacitor C1, then diode D1, and then diode D2 and capacitor C2. The input voltage, the input voltage at the second of the transformer will be a sine wave like this shown from zero to time t1 and then from t1 to time t2 the sine wave is positive from zero to time t1 and the sine wave is negative from t1 to time t2 so let us analyze them for each half what will happen from time zero to t1 from time zero to t1 the transformer will have one terminal positive as shown and the second terminal negative. This will cause the diode D1 to be forward biased and a current passes through the diode D1 and this current charges capacitor C1 to the maximum voltage of the input signal. Let us take this equal to Vm. So the capacitor is now charged to Vm or V maximum. Then in the negative portion of the input waveform, the polarity will reverse such that the polarity that was positive will now be negative and the polarity that was in the first half was negative. It is now positive. The diode D1 becomes open circuit or if you look at in the second diagram over here, if we look at over here, the diode D1 is now open circuit and capacitor C1, uh, capacitor C2 and diode D2 are now conducting such that the voltage appearing across capacitor C2 is equal to voltage of capacitor C1 plus the input voltage waveform plus the input voltage waveform. And this voltage waveform is two times the input voltage from the transformer. So the voltage doubler has doubled the output voltage as compared to the secondary of the transformer. But what we get is, but one disadvantage of using this circuit is that the output voltage will have a negative potential. That if we use positive as the ground, the output voltage will be negative. But we can resolve this by changing the location of our ground. If we want to resolve this, if we make this node to be our ground, then we will have a positive output voltage. So this figure 2.12 shows the similar voltage doubler. The circuit is the same, but we have just rearranged it to look simple. So what will happen is that in the first part, when V is positive and ne negative, D1 will conduct and C1 will be charged to Vm. Diode D2 will not allow current to pass through D2. It is reverse bias. Therefore, capacitor C1 is charged to a value of Vm. The capacitor is now charged to a value of Vm. And in the negative part, when the voltage is, is reversed, then what we have is this terminal positive and the remaining neg terminal negative. Current will start from here. It will flow through C2 into D2, into D2, and then into the input terminal of the transformer. And, and in the negative part, capacitor C2 will be charged to voltage V such that the total voltage is two times V or twice of the input. This is your voltage doubler. This circuit is very useful in, in cases that we want output voltage twice as of the input voltage. 
So not only will this circuit rectify, it will also give us voltage that is at a higher voltage level compared to the output of the transformer. So this voltage doubler is a special clamper circuit which is rectifying plus it is doubling the amount of voltage supplied. And it is a very useful circuit uh, used in electronics power supplies. Now we come to our last slide. The last slide is voltage triplers and quadruplers. What we see is, we see a network of capacitors and diodes. For example, in this network, we see capacitor C1, C2, C3, and C4. And with the help of four capacitors, we will get output voltage four times the input voltage from the second of the transformer. And we are also using four diodes, D1, D2, D3, and D4. The input voltage applied across the second transformer is your normal sine wave, or it can be a square wave or it can be a triangular waveform so what will happen for example let us take a let us this time let us take a square wave as the input and i am taking a square wave just to introduce a variety whereas the students they can always use triangular waveforms or sinusoidal waveform but the analysis will remain the same so from zero to time t1 the input voltage is v or let us call it Vm maximum. And then from time T1 to time T2, the voltage input voltage waveform is minus Vm. So now let us consider the time 0 to T1, where we have positive over here and negative over here. This will cause D1 to conduct current or D1 to be forward bias, and the capacitor C1 is now charged to, to voltage Vm. Let us label the output of the transformer such that this node is terminal B, and the node over here is terminal A. And B terminal is also our, let us take B terminal also our ground terminal. So from zero to time T1, diode D1 starts to conduct and capacitor C1 is charged to Vm. Then then from time T1 to T2, what will happen? The polarity will be reversed such that A is negative and B is positive. And current will now this time, it will flow through capacitor C2, D2 and capacitor C1. D1 will be reverse bias. This is happening time T1 to T2. From time, and yes, from time zero to T1, D1 was conducting. From time T1 to T2, D2 is conducting and the capacitor C2 now charges to voltage of twice Vm. Where does this two times of Vm come from? This comes from, from the fact that we have Vm from the transformer and Vm from capacitor C1. And these are appearing in series, therefore capacitor C2 has a voltage of two times Vm. Now in from time T2 to time T3 over here, T3. A will become positive, B will become negative, and current will now pass through capacitor C1, capacitor C3, and diode D3, like this. Capacitor C3 will now be charged to what value? To Vm from capacitor C2, plus Vm from the transformer, plus Vm from C1. So this makes capacitor equal to two times Vm. Now, why is capacitor C3 charged to 
voltage to a VM because of the polarity cancellation. Voltage of transformer VM and voltage of capacitor C1 are appearing in the opposite direction like shown and they are cancelling out each other. Therefore, voltage of, of C3 is equal to voltage of C2. C2 will now provide its voltage capacitor C3 and this will happen from time T2 to time T, T, T3 where diode D3 is conducting. Then from time T3 to time T4, this is time T4 over here. What will happen that the polarities will be reversed. And we have 2 Vm C2 and we have 2 Vm at C3. And from time T3 to T4, what we have is the transformer has changed its potential such that B is positive. Current passes through C2, passes through C4 and into D4. And then from D4, it passes to C3 and then into C1. Now, what will be the voltage? So in from T3 to T4, the diode has a voltage of the diode D4 is conducting. From time T3 to T4, diode D4 is conducting. And, and the output voltage or the charge voltage of C4 is two times Vm. Where does this two times Vm come from? It comes from the fact that the voltage of C2 and C3 are now cancelling each other, whereas capacitor voltage C1 and voltage Vm, they will provide the voltage to their capacitor to the capacitor C4. Now capacitor C4 has a voltage of 2 times Vm. And if we measure the voltages across the capacitors with respect to node number B, which is our ground, then from B to capacitor C2, we have voltage doubler. And then and from B to capacitor C4, we have a voltage quadrupler. And from B to capacitor C3, we have a voltage tripler. So this is the uh, performance of voltage triplers and voltage quadruplers. And the application, the major application of using such circuit is used in high voltage generation. This circuit is a very basic circuit of how electrical engineers, they get high voltage DC from small voltage. We can continue to add on capacitors and diodes in the same sequence and we get more voltage across the output. So this is a very simple technique to get high voltage DC. Third, to make the power of conservation of energy, law of conservation of energy, the current should reduce. The current will not reduce because at one point there is Vm and at the other point there is two times Vm. So we are always getting a voltage potential and this and our current needs a voltage potential to pass through. We will get a current only when there is a voltage potential. So in this case, naturally we are getting voltage potential and hence we are getting a current. So we are not sure, violating any sir. laws. Sir, input power and sir, output, input output power are always. Uh, yes, can you repeat your question? So why don't we use another transformer? Why use all these diodes and capacitors? Yes, we um, can we, again. Yes, that is a very uh, natural question that why not we use a transformer which has large number of turns in the secondary winding. That is quite true. But, well, but we must not. Let, let me answer. Let me answer first. But we, we are not using a high voltage transformer because the high voltage transformer will require insulation right and the space will be limited or the volume that the transformer will consume will be limited therefore it is convenient to use such circuits 
and if you have time if you visit the high voltage lab in our uh, uet department electrical engineering department the high voltage lab we have the same circuit which is being used to rectify ac to dc and to get high voltage yes other question please Uh, input power and output power always remain same. Sir, how can node current reduce? Node current we reduce. We are, yes, current is reducing because we have a potential difference across the diodes. Current will be defined by the potential difference across the capacitors or even the diodes. Sir, is, sir, is it node the law of conservation of energy? No, we are not violate. We are not violating any law of conservation. We are considering the fact that the voltage across the capacitor is different across its same two terminals. Therefore, the current will be defined by the value of the voltage difference. And this is no violation of energy conservation. Okay, so uh, we 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 will uh, finish over here. And sir, कैसा कोई ड्रॉबैक है इस सर्किट का इस सर्किट का ड्रॉबैक ये है कि आपने जो अगर एक्स्ट्रा हाई वोल्टेज हासिल करना है तो आपने डायोड वो यूज करने हैं जिनकी इंसुलेशन आपकी रिक्वायर्ड हाई वोल्टेज से ज्यादा हो ऐसा ना हो कि डायोड या कैपेसिटर्स की इंसुलेशन वीक हो जाए और आपको आपकी रिक्वायर्ड हाई वोल्टेज ना मिल सके सेकेंड इसका एडवांटेज ये है if we connect a load then there are chances that the output will vary or it will be reduced due to the value of resistance connected so we must be very careful in determining the output in knowing the load value before we insert the value of capacitors because we must not forget that the capacitor will discharge in five time constants and therefore r in this case will be the load resistor so we have to look we have to take into consideration the resistance value of the load only then we can use certain amount of capacitors so uh, the yeah, summary is that we if we know the value of let me yes let me finish if we know the value of resistance after knowing the value of resistance we should calculate the value of capacitors and normally all the capacitors will be of equal capacitance yes now ask your question Yes, I uh, meant to ask sir, what what will be the value of the capacitance? According to which parameters are we going to select a certain value of capacitance? Okay, tau is equal to five R C. Okay. S uh, sir, this uh, output will be AC or DC? Output will be DC. Five. Output is confirmed DC. It will never change. it can okay. be minus or it can be positive that is another issue but the nature so of the output will be voltage DC. from any place we can take yeah. two volt two times v max we can take three times v max or we can take four times v max okay yes we can okay and not only that if we continue the sequence and add more capacitor and diodes in the same sequence we can in fact increase the output voltage even 8 times or 10 times vm but current would be reduced but what will be reduced current uh current will be the current will be determined by the value of capacitors being used if you are using heavy capacitors then heavy capacitors will require too much current to charge initially so current depends on the value of uh capacitors being used and then the value of resistance r okay sir theek hai so please everybody all the class all my students please uh, read from the textbook and uh inshallah next time we will discuss a new article thank you very much assalam alaikum sir kindly share the slides ha ji theek hai ji